I see them as, as the chance to tell a story. And I thought, oh, maybe I should try making boxes. Do we need a, a Virgin Mary here? Oh, no, that, that doesn't work. So it, it's, uh, it, I can play with it. This one has to do with a lot of the discussion now about the unequal division of wealth in the world. This little guy, I found my first year in Holland and it was, uh, uh, they were made as invitations to a theater uh, production of Agatha Christie's Tin Little Indians, although in the beginning it was called Tin Little Negroes. This one is my homage on Cornell, Joseph Cornell. It's called uh, Panther Ballet. And in uh, the Cornell version, it's a row of plastic uh, uh, lobsters with little uh, bibs. My Panther Ballet is uh, guys either dancing or fighting in the background. I see this, this kitchen as a very classical kind of, like uh, in, in uh, the cost English costume dramas, the big houses, they always have these fabulous kitchens with uh, getting a bit shabby around uh, the edges, but still has this, this idea of a colonial past. It's a contained world, a slice of somebody's life, either mine or somebody. I've known or somebody I've made up. Sometimes it's a joke. A friend of a friend came along and he said, oh, what the cool. So I thought this was a really catchy phrase, but I hadn't a clue what it meant. So I had to ask some friends. <laughs> It's Oedipus talking to the Sphinx. And actually in my version is it, while he's whining about his, uh, uh, his lack of choice and his fate, she's saying, oh honey, get alive. My mother was always saying, stop resting on your laurels and get up and do some work. And so resting on your laurels was a, a, a favorite expression. And this one is uh, Alexander resting on his laurels. <laughs>